Are you wondering how to manage your personal or professional finances? Maintaining a cash book may help you in this regard. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and PV tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Bashar and today I'll demonstrate how to create a cash book in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the cash book. The cash book is a financial record book where you can record your daily cash in and cash out. It contains debit and credit sites where you can input your cash receipts and your cash payment. There are several types of cash book like the single column cash book, the double column cash book and the triple column cash book. In this tutorial, I will create the single column cash book and the double column cash book. This is a sample daily cash book of the month September 2023. It is called a single column cash book because this contains only one type of transaction that is the cash transaction. It doesn't include the other type of transactions like the bank transaction. This cash book is divided into two parts, the debit part and the credit part. In the debit part, you will find the relevant data that is the transaction date, the description of the transaction and the cash amount. On the other hand, in the credit section, you will find the same data that is the transaction date, the description of the transaction and the cash amount. Now to calculate the total debit that is the total cash in go to cell D14 type equal I'll use the sum function so type sum the sum function returns the summation of a range of cells as the number one argument of the sum function select the cells D6 to D13 now close the parenthesis of the sum function and hit enter. This returns the total debit amount for the month September 2023. Similarly, you can calculate the total credit amount. So go to cell H14. I'll use the sum function again. So type equal sum as the number one argument of the sum function. This time, I'll select the cells H6 to H13. Now close the parenthesis and hit enter. This returns the total credit amount for the month September 2023. Now you can use the total debit amount and the total credit amount to calculate the total cash in hand. So go to cell D16, type equal. The total cash in hand is the difference between the total credit amount and the total debit amount. So select the cell D14 minus select the cell H14 and hit enter. This is the total cash in hand amount at the end of the month September 2023. Our single column cash book is complete. However, you can insert charts to better understand the cash flow. For example, I'll insert a chart with the debit data. So select the cells C6 to D13, then move to the insert tab. From the chart section, click on insert pie or donor chart. This opens different options of pie and donor chart. You can choose any chart according to your choice. In my case, from the 2D pie, I'll choose the pie chart. You can see a pie chart is created. Let me resize this chart to get a clear view of the data set. This is the basic view of the pie chart. You can customize this chart. For example, you can change the style of this chart. To do so, go to the chart design contextual tab and click on this drop down icon. Here you will find different available styles of this chart. You can choose any style according to your choice. In my case, I'll choose style 3. You can see that style 3 is applied to this chart. Next, you can change the position of the data labels. To do so, click on this plus icon which is the chart elements. Then go to data labels and you'll find the options to set the data labels. You can choose any style. In my case, I'll set the outside end style. As a result, the data labels are added outside to this chart and from this chart, you can see that salary is the highest contributor to the debit amount. On the other hand, landing back is the lowest contributor to the debit. Finally, you can change the title of this chart. So click on this chart title and set the chart title as categories of debit. And this completes the debit chart. Similarly, you can create a chart with the credit data, so select the cells G6 to H13. Then move to the insert tab from the chart section. Click on insert pie or donor chart. From the 2D pie, choose the pie chart. You can see a pie chart is created. Now resize the pie chart 
and place the pie chart here. This pie chart contains a credit information. Now apply the save style that is style 3 to this pie chart. So go to the chart design contextual tab and from the chart styles choose the style 3. As a result style 3 is applied to this chart. Now you can change the position of the data labels. So click on this plus icon then go to data labels and select the option outside end. As a result, the data labels are set outside end and from this chart, you can see that fuel cost indicated by green is the highest contributor to the credit. On the other hand, electric bill and treatment fee are the lowest contributor to the credit. Finally, you can set the chart title. So click on this chart title and set the chart title as categories of credit. And this completes our single column cash book. In this example, I will create a double column cash book. The structure is very similar to the single column cash book. The only difference is that it contains two transaction types that are the cash transactions and the bank transactions both in the debit and in the credit section as it contains two columns of transactions. So. This is called the double column cash book. Now, to get the total amount of debit transacted in cash, go to cell D14. I will use the sum function. So type equal sum as the number one argument of the sum function. Select the cells D6 to D13. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. This returns the total debit amount transacted in the form of cash. To get the total bank amount, you can use the autofill feature. So drag the fill handle and this will give you the total bank amount in the debit section. Now, to get the total credit amount transacted in cash, go to cell I14, type equal sum as the number one argument of the sum function. Select the cells I6 to I13, close the parenthesis and hit enter. This is the total cash amount of the section credit. Similarly, to get the transaction made through bank, you can use the autofill feature. So select the cell I14, then drag the fill handle. In this way, you can calculate the total amount both in the cash and bank. Finally, to calculate the cash in hand, go to cell D16, type equal. The cash in hand amount is the difference between the total debit and the total credit amount. So to get the summation of the total debit, select the cell D14 plus select the cell E14. Now, I need to subtract the credit amounts from the total debit amount. So press minus and select the cell I14 minus select the cell J14 finally hit enter so this is the cash amount at the end of the month September 2023 and that's it this completes our double column cash book I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a cash book in Excel hopefully you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience you can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills feel free to leave any questions suggestions or feedback in the comment section below you can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs or you can share your Excel related issues in our Excel Demi forum and receive free solutions for more content like this Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.